International Women's Day is happening Wednesday, March 8th, and we are talking ways to celebrate with Gaynell and Condi. What a perfect person to come in and Thanks. tell us what to do. It's this, good to all be together, day. right? Yeah. And you have two days, but you have really the whole month of March. March is National Women's History Month. And so if you don't do something on Wednesday specific, but these aren't overwhelming ideas. And I just think as women, don't you feel like generally we don't always celebrate ourselves. We're good at celebrating other people. We're good at planning all the celebrations. So I, I just hope that this conversation sparks some ideas for this well, month. All of us have examples of strong women. Yes. And women that we love in our lives. So yes. why not celebrate them this month right. and this Wednesday? Especially if you have a daughter, I would say first and foremost, gather some women together. Have a lunch or a, a dinner this month where you maybe have, instead of just place cards, Cards, print off some women of history so that there's some conversation starting. And if you have daughters that are little, what a great idea to just Wednesday, plan a special dinner, men and women in your family, have a time where we sit around and we talk about some of the women that are notable, that are in our families, that are in history, so that we have kind of an excuse. I think I have an amazing daughter and she is of the age now where she reflects back to me how the way I have honored myself has helped her learn to honor herself. So I think this is reciprocal when we when we stand up and honor women then the women in our lives have permission to do that I think that is important right not just to gather women around or even your daughters but to have the boys and the men yes. see that you are honoring yes. women I mean that's the example and that's how you spread it well beyond women and don't you feel like we all went to school and we heard about notable men and so the boys in our in our classrooms had that uh, opportunity all the time so I think giving them the opportunity to hear us talk about women is important and, and then I think the next thing that's so simple is donate to women philanthropies we have some great ones in the state of Utah but I love the period project um, the National Women's History Museum Breast Cancer Research Foundation and the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence those are just top four that I that I'm throwing out there but there are a lot of great women's organizations choose one that speaks to you and donate this week even if it's five dollars and then post about that. Oh, I love that and spread the word yes. in that way. Okay, and then this is a great one. If you are a business owner, you can consider hiring a woman to come and speak to yes. your team. I, I'm a speaker professionally and it's very rare that uh, that owners are specifically looking for women speakers but every time I'm just gonna say this it, it is something that I, I value the men in my life but I think as a woman speaker I bring a different perspective and so there are amazing women speakers I, I feel like women business owners can also reach out specifically to women presenters but I think wouldn't it be great if men specifically were seeking out women because we do have a unique perspective it's interesting too if you can't see it having daughters. Yes. If they can't see it, they can't dream it exactly. and want to be it. Exactly. And you need to see that example. And both my children, I have a son and a daughter, have said to me in just the last few years that they've watched me do some scary things and it's inspired them to do scary things. And I think as as women, we do have a ripple effect in our homes and in our communities. So All right, talk about awards for yes, exceptional women. I, I feel like what a great excuse this month that within your organizations find ways to spotlight women because we don't naturally always draw attention to ourselves and I think it can feel uncomfortable at times but I, and I'm not saying make up an award but there are opportunities to specifically find women and and recognize their contributions whether in a business setting or in in community organizations find a way to do that and then find a way to send a text or a card I am still a like pull the stamps out write it out mail it because I think they are tactile and you can keep them I have boxes of notes from people that I've received so even if you don't want to organize something give an award plan a dinner you anyone can, can do that anyone can send a text or a card this week or this month to some woman in their life that has inspired them and given them permission to do some of the scary hard things in life oh. Gaino oh Lynn Condi, thank you. Simple acts of kindness yes. too to honor women. We can do that throughout the month of March and especially do something special on Wednesday. Yeah. We think yeah. you're exceptional. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think all three of you are. Thank I'm you. so happy to thank be with strong women on a monthly basis. On our you're show all the time. Inspire me we all the time. We love it. Uh, that's where you can find her, everybody. Her info on the screen along with the website still.